to be filing this lawsuit within a matter of weeks. Tonight, the legal fallout is solidifying in the wake of a deadly bus crash. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kyle Linsky. And I'm Paula Toti. The family of a woman who died after getting hit by the bus is preparing to file a lawsuit against Southwest Regional Transit Authority, SORTA. The fatal crash happened on January 11th. An 87-year-old retired school teacher, Beverly Kinney, was walking across Duck Creek Road on Dana Avenue. Now, police say the Metro bus was turning right onto Duck Creek and ran over Kinney. Local 12's David Winner is at the intersection right now with the latest on the investigation and exclusive details on this pending civil suit. David, good evening. Good evening, Kyle. That civil suit promises to focus not only on what happened at this intersection on that fateful day, but also what happened prior to it. The bus driver's driving record and Metro's record of hiring. Most of us hope that when we're her age that we are surrounded by family and that it's peaceful. Um, never anything is so tragic and so shocking. It's been nearly 44 years since Monique Foster said goodbye to her math teacher, Beverly Kinney, at Lucas School in Sharonville. But she says news of Mrs. Kinney's death hit her hard. I never, in all of these years, never ever forgot what she she meant to me and what she did for me. Is now Monique will never have a chance to tell Mrs. Kinney how much she loved her, but she says she wants her family to know. Nobody expected this. They expected uh, Beverly to be around for a very long time. Uh, she was in great health, and it's, it's, uh, it's both shocking and devastating to all of them. Rex Elliott is the attorney representing that family in what will be a civil suit against Sorta and Metro. Our past reporting on this story revealed the 46-year-old bus driver's questionable driving record, including the fact that his license was suspended at the time of the fatal crash. Among other moving violations, he's had four speeding tickets, he's had a total of three license suspensions, and he had eight collisions, six of which happened in the past six years. Elliott says the family will not be seeking just monetary damages. We're going to be looking for changes, um, new procedures if necessary, so that we can do whatever we can possibly do to make sure that this doesn't happen to somebody else. This was a flaw in the system. This guy should have never been behind the wheel. Definitely, there's a flaw at Metro that needs to be fixed, but maybe industry-wide as well. Monique says she hopes the lawsuit will help the Kinney family find closure to figure out what happened, to know that her death wasn't in vain. And I want them to know also that those of us who were impacted by her students feel that impact with them and that we are with them and that we're praying for, for everyone involved. Well, it's been nearly eight weeks since Beverly Kinney died at this intersection. The uh, bus driver for Metro is on paid administrative leave, as is the case in most of these cases. And then uh, the uh, uh, prosecutor and the grand jury will decide at the point of the uh, conclusion of the investigation whether the criminal charges are appropriate in this case. All of this could happen within the next month. Reporting live from uh, the intersection where Beverly Kinney died. This is David Winter. Back to you, Kyle. All right, David, thank you so much. And we asked Metro today about the pending lawsuit and crash investigation. A spokesperson told us, quote, Metro will not comment on pending litigation. And thankfully, there's not a lot of precedent for cases like this, but each situation is unique. We also spoke with the president of the American Transit Union Local 627, which represents Metro's 535 bus drivers. He told us the ATU is, quote, praying for both families involved, the victims and the drivers. He went on to say the driver is doing as well as can be expected under the circumstances. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.